So as a designer, I was looking at this page here and you know what it struck me? I can't do much with this, but how did I create this design into this design using Bubble? Stick around and find out. So using Bubble, you can create something like this very easily. But as a designer, I struggled to actually style it and get it to the way that I wanted it to work. Um, within the styling, you have the ability to change the fonts, right? Font size, color, spacing. But if you wanted to do anything else, like having drop caps, like this example here, how do you do that? And I was struggling for a long time. Like um, there is no way to select a way to have linear gradients or anything like that. And even looking into background styles, there's just flat gradient, but that's for the background style, not so much on the text level. I didn't come up with this technique. I actually learned it from Damien Zanzi and he has a awesome bubble newsletter. And in the newsletter, I found this article about how to add custom stylings to a button so that you can have nicer hover effects inside this step-by-step -step tutorial of how to add this in the ID attribute field within the bubble UI to uh, come up with the styling. And to uh, make that work, you need to install the classify plugin. And then once you're there, you can drop an HTML element on your page. Once it's there, then you can add in whatever styling that you might see from a website. So for example, if it's something like this, you can just cut and paste the style that you're most interested in and copy it and paste it into um, the box here. And then you can adjust the colors as needed. And depending on the name that you call it, uh, you just call add class and add the name of that style there. Once it's there, that's how it works. Um, it'll work perfectly. How did I make this? I actually created a reusable element so that I could reuse this element across different pages in the application. Highlighting, uh, I made a transparent little UI element to hold this HTML. Uh, so it's just an HTML block that you can find inside here. So HTML, drag it onto the page. Inside here, I have different stylings for the hero, which is the word maker. And there I'm using a background image uh, for the styling. The drop caps, I am using this styling here. And for the button gradient, I had this styling here. So button gradient and hover. So the two states there. So that gives us the hero the drop cap styling and the button hovering style. This will now allow you to create really exciting headers, print quality to your design. And as you can see, there's two different fonts being used here. This is Playfair and this is the, the other font that I've been using for the body copy. So you can mix and match styles like that. And with gradient styles, you can choose any gradients that you find online. And yeah, you can just click it and do that. This ability to use gradients is not limited only to um, buttons, but you can also make that for the header too, uh, for text. So if I go to this page here, I put in this subscribe text, just using the standard font that comes from Bubble, and I set it up to white on a white background. At the moment, not very exciting. What we'll do now is add that reusable style to the page and you can see it under reusable styles. Drag it, throw it somewhere on the page. That looks good to me. The style itself, what we're doing here is uh, calling showcase, changing the font, adding this background uh, gradient that I found um, from a designer and adding all this stuff in here. If I now refresh this, we have subscribe in a lovely uh, gradient that works really well on a dark background. If you found this video inspiring, please click like and consider clicking subscribe so that you can get more information about how to make no code and low code products better. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time.